Hi, she was seven. I'm back. I got my J Lo glow happening and my ombre hair. Uh, if y'all like this makeup look, y'all check out my beauty channel. I have this tutorial on there. So I'm going to be answering a few questions and covering a few topics on this video if I can get to them all from my last video where I asked you guys to ask me questions and suggest topics. So the question I got the most was um, open relationships, open marriage, cheating. Uh, is this the new thing? Should this be embraced instead of looked down upon? Is monogamy natural? Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so as young adults, humans are very curious about other humans. Okay, they're going to be attracted to other people. They're going to be attracted to this person. They're going to want to have sex with this person and that person. This is physically um, human nature okay so if you are very hard to control your lower natures your lower anatomies and you're just driven by them first then of course it's going to be hard to stay faithful to somebody but if you're in a relationship for different reasons it's easier to stay faithful to a person depending on your reason for being with them okay so let's say if your reason for being with someone is for their money okay you're going to weigh your options about okay so if i get caught cheating with this guy and he's a loser but you know he looks good his sex is good but I'm, am i gonna risk living in this nice house this nice car am i gonna risk you know all the things that i can lose because this dude's taking care of me this one is not your priorities become different so women cheat for different reasons men cheat for different reasons okay if both men are losers and it doesn't matter and you have nothing to lose or gain, then psh, it doesn't matter. If you're in a relationship and you've just grown bored of it and you just are attracted to someone else and you've been in, with the same person forever and you're just like, okay, you're boring now, I want something new and you cheat, then that's because, you know, you're in this, the rut and you don't, you know, you're bored and you want to do something different. Just like people want to do stuff different with their hair, makeup looks clothes people like to change partners okay and sometimes people get hurt behind this and they're like well he cheated on me or she cheated on me sometimes it's not about you know that they didn't love you it's just about that they got bored with you they got uh infatuated with someone else temporarily um and you know they wanted to, to try a new flavor and i don't think you know i don't think it's right unless you discuss it beforehand like a lot of people have open marriages now or open relationships they're like look especially celebrities they're like look i'm out on the road you're not with me all the time if i see something i like i'm not going to deny myself can you deal with this type of relationship and a lot of these women will be like you know what as long as you use protection and you know you don't kiss her you know they have all these stupid rules in place then they're fine with it i mean for me as for me I mean, a long time ago when I first met my husband, yeah, I was like the jealous type and oh yeah, you're, you can't do anything and da 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 da. And, you know, because I was, um, you know, trying to claim him and all this stuff. And the longer, the, the older that I got, I just stopped caring. Like I stopped, like I don't think he was cheating or anything, but I just stopped caring. Like I stopped being so jealous. I stopped like looking, looking um, on his phone or I just stopped caring because I've been, I've been with him so long I'm like whatever whatever you ain't going nowhere I don't care you know you don't you're not checking on me so I don't need to check on you it's like when you've been in a relationship for so long for some people like if you've been married a year we've been we've been together 16 years y'all <laughs> so basically it's like uh you're more like a family member at that point but I don't think monogamy is natural Okay, just to answer that question, I don't think it's natural. I think you have to work on it. You have to really be disciplined, and um, you, you you know it's just something that you're just going to have to. Uh, if you have certain moral values that you hold high, and that's one of them, that's great. Some people, you know, they're just going to do what they feel like doing at the time, just to to itch a scratch or whatever, or scratch an itch or whatever. And you know, the other person doesn't find out. They never they're never hurt and it's just like you know no big deal like i i do readings y'all know i do readings right i get so many women who want me to tell them it's okay to cheat <laughs> this is what they're they really want me to confirm that 
it's okay to cheat. They're all, they all, it's always with the work husband, y'all. It's always with the work husband. I'm trying to tell you, man, if you get a woman and you send her off to work every day, she's going to get a work husband. And a lot of times it goes further than the work relationship, okay? Because I've done countless readings. Like, I'm, I'm here to tell you, I've done countless readings where the woman always gets the crush on a man, a coworker, or a boss, and they end up doing it. And they, the readings start off like, well, I, I like someone else. I'm attracted to someone else. Am I wrong? Should I go for it? My husband don't pay me no attention anymore. This guy does everything. Should I um, do it? And they're asking me for permission, but the funny thing is they've already done it. They've already cheated. They're just trying to see what I think about it, if it's going to go any further, you know, and stuff like that. So I basically tell them, look, because I already know they already done it. <laughs> so I was like, look, you know, you're a grown woman. If your husband or your boyfriend doesn't find out, then, you know, kudos for you. You know, men do it all the time. I don't think we should have double standards. Um, so, you know, just be careful, protect yourself, do all that kind of stuff. I'm not here to judge. I'm not saying that it's right or wrong. I'm just saying people are going to do what they are going to do. And this is why I keep telling everyone, men or women, both, now, if you send a woman out to work, she's going to become close with a male, okay? Male, men are going to get at your girl at work, especially if she looks good. This is why I said, if you're going to get married, don't send your wife off to work eight hours up under another man all day. She will see him more than she sees you, okay? Next question is, um, how do you get, like, how, how long do you wait for someone you're dating to have sex with okay if you're a girl you you need to <clears throat> you need to wait until he's spent at least five hundred dollars on you before you do anything okay before you even spend the night he needs to spend five hundred dollars plus on you before you give it up why because a man who invests in you is not going to be quick to up and leave you unless he's just got money like that but most of the time if you're dating someone and you invest in them take them on dates maybe purchase purchase them gifts you know tickets to concerts and stuff like that whatever movies candy a couple of dates make sure you know it all adds up to at least five hundred dollars or more depending on your standards you know if you if that's chump change to the guy add add another five hundred on it okay so a thousand um and after that He's invested in you. He spent lots of money and time with you. So he's invested in you. He's not trying to hit it and quit it in three dates of taking you to uh, McDonald's or, um, you know, Netflix and chill. You're, you make him invest in you so that if he does decide to say, hey, I don't want you anymore after I've slept with you because that's all I want. He's put all this effort, time and money into you. So he's not going to easily let that go he's gonna be like well i've invested in this girl she's kind of nice you know she's kind she didn't give it up quick so that means she's not slut so let me see what else there is about her you know so wait till they spent a lot of time and a lot of money okay this usually takes to, to spend 500 dollars on a girl if you see her every week probably takes about three weeks two weeks depending on how much money that person has but you don't want to give it up too quick. If the guy is rich, up it. Like instead of five hundred or one thousand, make it two thousand. Okay. Um, keep it keep it on their level of income. So make sure they spend enough on you to where it is an investment for them. Okay. Um, where to? Okay, I got another. I got another request. Um, is it possible to date a guy without uh, having sex before marriage? In America, in this day and age, I don't think so. Uh, they're going to be getting sex somewhere else if they're not getting it from you. You can you can practice celibacy. You can not have sex with your boyfriend until marriage, but guarantee you he's going to be doing something else or he's going to get addicted to porn in the process of trying to remain celibate. If he's religious, you know, those, those things are bottled up and they can come out in different types of ways, rage, um, self-destruction, abuse so you have to let people get out their sexuality you gotta let them you know you gotta let them get it um if it's not if it's not with another woman and it's not with you they're gonna find a, an outlet i'm just telling y'all um so 
I would suggest not doing that because it's kind of impractical in this day and age unless you allow him to sleep with other women but wait on you as the prize but that also poses a risk of him of uh, you losing him to another woman so you have to really think about that um, I say test out the merchandise a couple times at least if you believe in celibacy just like slip up one or two times like oh we slipped up we can't do that anymore just to give him a little taste and get you a little taste and see what you're working with and then you can decide if you want to remain celibate or if you want to go ahead and get married because that's really mainly why you know why people wait because if the, the guy is terrible and you're stuck with him and you're married can you imagine that or if the girl is terrible and you're stuck with her and y'all are married now that's that's gonna be even worse there's gonna be more cheating and stuff like that so don't wait y'all um this is not the biblical days this is not a thousand years ago this is 2016 where people are sexually free to explore and experience and do whatever they choose to do without uh judgment okay that's like in the past uh, there are still some parts of the world where that is practiced and I can understand if you're from that culture then you know abide by your culture but if I'm saying for Americans and people like you know in some European countries it's it's fine okay uh, I don't see anything wrong with it so um, go ahead have fun and I got another question on um, how do you keep how do you keep a man's attention like you've gone out on a few dates it's kind of blah. How do you reel him back in? How do you reel him back in and get his interest peaked again? Well, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to come out of the box. You're just gonna have to go wild and crazy, post some crazy pictures on Facebook, um, and tell him, you know, I was nervous on our dates and I really didn't let the real me come out because um, you know, I I think I want to I think I want to show you something, and I think I want to take you to this place, um, you know that uh just like think of something that is really cool and different it's like i just want to take you somewhere cool and show you you know the real me you know if you've already messed up if you played the boring rigid uh date and you want another chance and he's like forgotten about you you have to do something like that a grand gesture like let me take you somewhere fun i was you know i was uptight i, I didn't let the real me show and sometimes that you know gets in my way because i'm so used to you know guarding myself but I really like you and let's just try this one more time you know you gotta you gotta put yourself out there sometimes you have to seem vulnerable because sometimes men don't like women who aren't vulnerable you know at least act vulnerable you don't really have to be vulnerable but act vulnerable like you need them you want another chance with them or you know uh, let them lead let them think they're leading you know um, and also I got another question if, if you're always talking to your man and he puts all your ideas down and doesn't let you finish talking and talks over you and everything you suggest he shoots it down automatically and your man don't respect you okay and plus he, he thinks he's smarter than you and usually uh, if the woman has a really good idea and the man didn't have a good idea he's still gonna shoot it down because of ego sometimes I'm not saying all men I'm just saying this this type of man um, it's because he's probably undereducated and he is overcompensating for his lack of you know intelligence so he has to shoot down everything you do to make himself appear and seem smarter so with cases like that sometimes the women have to trick the man into thinking their idea was the man's idea uh, this takes some mentalism and some reverse psychology uh, if you just don't want to deal with these type of guys I don't suggest it because they can get abusive when um, when guys are undereducated and the woman is smarter than them, a lot of times they feel threatened and they become abusive. So y'all ladies watch out for those undereducated men who do not appreciate your intelligence. And if you're one of those ladies uh, who are dating an uneducated man, I know they don't have any money. So that's not the excuse to stay. <laughs> So, um, but if the man has money, he is probably most likely educated in some form or fashion. And if you want to, um, you know, compromise with this type of guy, you're going to have to make your ideas seem, seem like that they were his ideas. So I will see you guys later. Thank you so much for asking me questions and suggesting topics. I'm still looking through those topics, so I probably will take a few and do a few videos from there. So thank you guys so much. Um, 
and I'll see y'all later. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. All right, bye.